<laughs> so he's gypsum for lowering the pH. That's one. And gypsum for the dog urine. That's two. Yeah, humates on my cart. Uh, so this extra calcium is going to help out a lot. It's not like the humates aren't going to do anything. There's no evidence support. I mean, there's probably something, but it's just like, it's just one of those little indicators that you're probably going down the wrong road. You know, if you're, if you start going down the humate road right off the, right off the bat, it's probably unwise, probably very expensive, probably very wasteful. Could you see a benefit from these humates and sea kelps and stuff? I mean, it's, a, I suppose it's possible under the right conditions, but that wouldn't be the first thing I start with. That's for sure. So that's what I mean. It's just an indicator. Indicator of a BS artist. On the bag, it stipulates that I'm going to only get annually spread 100 to 150 pounds. Oh, here it is. Yes. <laughs> On the back of the bag, it says this. I'm reading for the, for the audience. It says, he says, I've already completed my heavy calcium match for this season. I have no idea why you'd want to apply heavy applications of calcium. Unless you want to result in some deficiency of some other element. Because you dump a bunch of calcium out there, you're going to be competing for potassium. If it's potassium's low, you might knock yourself into a potassium deficiency. So you don't really need to do that unless you have a known calcium deficiency. And then he says, I'm going to run this at eight pounds per thousand, even when he's already applied the heavy calcium apps. And on the bag, it says, compacted and heavy clay soils annually spread 100 to 150 pounds per thousand to men's soil compaction and water infiltration problems irrigate thoroughly. This is on the back of a standard a application that says standard preel gypsum. I mean, it's just madness. And look what it says below. It says salt damaged soils and turf spread an initial application of 100 150 pounds frequent additionally monthly. Salt damaged soils applied gypsum on the back. Gypsum is a salt. It was a salt last week. It's a salt this week and it's going to be a salt next week. There is no way you can apply a salt to a salt and re result in less salt. It's not going to happen. And the, the only case where there can be an argument made is if the soil is also a sodic soil or a saline sodic soil. So you have both salts and high sodium at the same time. And, that, and the sodium is high enough to actually result in the, the soil being sodic. So calcium sulfate is not going to alleviate salt damage. It's not going to alleviate compacted soils. It's not going to happen. And you see it right here on the bag. This is why I say I don't really fault people for believing this stuff because you guys are victims to this if you're believing this. It's not your fault. It's your fault if you're educating and pushing it and selling it and influencing people and, and convincing people to buy it. I blame you all, but I don't buy, blame the people for buying it, you know, and spreading it, thinking it's going to help. They're just victims. They're following what the bag says. Bag's wrong.